In this short video, we'll look at the newly released Risa Tecla Link. The new version of the Link is compatible with Risa 3D version 16, as well as Tecla Structures version 16i, 2017, 2017i, and 2018. There are a few really nice new features for the Link. The main one is the round trip interoperability between Tecla and Risa. Uh, and this also includes the ability to import envelope member reactions from Risa 3D into Tecla Structures. So we're gonna start off this process in Risa 3D. So I'm gonna go ahead and just switch to my Risa 3D model. So I've already designed this model. We've done all the loading and, and everything else. We can see that we have our um, Unity checks already done. So we can see that here. And what I need to do now is just save the model. And I want to include the saved results so I can have those member reactions um, in the Tecla model. So I'll click Save Results. And then I'm just going to close out of Risa 3D and now jump into Tecla. So in Tecla, I just started a new model. I'm going to open up the 3D view here, click OK, and just expand this. Now I want to import that Risa model. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Risa tab from the ribbon on the top here. Now we're not going to pay any attention to these uh, connection buttons today. If you want more information about the transfer between Risa connection and Tecla structures, you can visit our YouTube page for uh, a few videos that we have on that link specifically. What we're going to pay attention to though is this link with Risa 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Analysis and Design Models button. And we open up kind of the main interoperability tab in Tecla. So the first thing I need to do is create a new kind of interoperability uh, template. So I'm going to click New. Now I want to set that analysis application to Risa 3D. The next thing I need to do is I need to browse for our input file. So I'm going to do that. So on my PC here, I'm going to go down to my model folder and I'm going to use that round trip V8 file and click OK. Now we could set some of this other information here, but in this particular case, we're not going to worry about anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now we need to go ahead and click the import button. And we're presented with kind of the Risa Tecla V8 link here for import. Now we can see we can import lows and end reactions. We can also see we can set the file location here. So that's already set for me. We can also go ahead and look at the map on, mapping file editor. So if I click on that, we're going to get this mapping file for the linking from Tecla to Risa and Risa to Tecla. Really the goal here, um, if we were to evaluate this or we're going to look at this in more depth, is just to look at the mapping tables, really taking a Tecla profile and showing that information um, as the Risa shape and vice versa. If we wanted to change the mapping and map something as another shape or we wanted to map something maybe that didn't have a specific database, um, we could do that. So you can see here that we've got some some different shapes and profiles. These are all Joyce, for instance. If we scroll down here, we can see different members. So the W10 by 33 in Tecla is mapped to a W10 by 33 in Risa, and it comes from a specific database. And so you can see here we could have chosen a variety of different databases or a variety of different shapes or even a variety of different profile types. It's really up to us. In this case, we're not going to change anything, but we just wanted to make aware that uh, it exists. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And then we're going to go ahead and just click OK. So when we click OK, the they're going to the Tecla is going to build the analysis model from Risa, and then we're going to start to um, import the model here. Now during import, all that analysis information, including the reactions and the beam sizes and the materials, all that steel information is going to come across from Risa into Tecla. It's going to build the analysis model in Tecla based on that analysis model, that centerline based analysis model that we have in Risa. And then we'll be able to go ahead and evaluate um, exactly what um, the Tecla model looks like. And then that would be the next, we could take the next step then with the model and, and do fabrication or, or detailing. Or in this case, we're going to make some changes because of that fabrication and detailing and then send those changes back to Risa so that we can reevaluate the design. Okay, now that the transfer is complete, we can see um, kind of a, a little summary of what we've imported. So different grid lines, columns, beams, braces, uh, materials, etc. cetera. Uh, we can also see some of the other information. Uh, in this case, we added and, and some grid lines. So we had some grid lines already in the model, so those show as modified. We can also see these errors and warnings. Um, the first is just that the vertical axis in Risa is the Y axis and the vertical axis in Tecla is the Z axis. Also load combinations are not currently supported so we're only going to get loads and reactions. Now when ready we can go ahead and click OK and then we can click close. Now we've got this model here in Tecla so we can go ahead and um, maybe just start by evaluating some of the information. So if we go ahead maybe and select a beam here 
We can see the size and the material. Uh, we can also go ahead and take a look at um, some of the other information. So if we choose uh, by right clicking on the model and hitting inquire and then hitting part, we kind of get this uh, text-based file, but if we scroll down in this text-based file, we can see here the recent name. So we get that information. Um, so we can kind of do some mapping that way if we really wanted to, to look at that. We also get some additional information that comes through through the RISA file, much of what, what you wouldn't care about in Tecla. We can also scroll down and go ahead and click on more under custom properties and choose end conditions. And we can see here, here's those, those end reactions, right? So these are those enveloped end reactions. So this is a worst case end reaction. So sheer moment, these could be used to then do connection design and detailing. Um, all of that information. Now, once we've gone ahead and evaluated all this uh, different information, we can go ahead and uh, make some changes to the model and then send this information back. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and select maybe these, uh, these braces. So let's zoom in here and go ahead and pick these different braces here. Right now they are um, angled shapes, so you can see that they're angles. But let's go ahead and change them to maybe tubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these rectangular hollow sections, some HSS, maybe HSS five by five by three, so or five by three by, I don't know, three eighths. So we can click apply and then click okay. And then we wanna change the material as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it through to that A500 uh, grade C, 50 KSI, so we can click apply and click OK. So we've made those two changes. Now we need to just hit modify and we'll get those changes active in the model here. So if we can go ahead and click on one of those and we can see that that change has been made. Now if we wanted to, we could uh, do the same to the uh, angles on the other side. So let's go ahead and just select these really quickly and do the same change. Or maybe we'll do a different change. So Instead of the angle, we'll go back to the HSS shape and let's make these maybe an HSS, uh, I don't know, six by six. We'll make it a square by quarter. And we'll click apply and okay. And again, we can go ahead and change the material as well. So we'll choose that 500 grade C material and click apply and then click the modify button. So now those two have been changed we can go ahead and say, okay, now these changes have been made, we wanna send that information then back to RISA. So again, we're still in the RISA tab here. We can go ahead and click Analysis and Design Models. We're gonna select that template that we created earlier. And we can see here in the background that it created, it sh it's re-showing us that analysis model. So it's showing us all the nodes and all the different uh, lines and information for the analysis model. And then instead of doing import, obviously, we're gonna go ahead and choose Export. So let's choose export. So it's telling us there are no load combina combinations. Do we want to create any? In this case, we don't. We also get this notes telling us that, hey, you need to be a qualified engineer, which in this case I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Again, we are gonna to choose to launch RISA after the export. We're gonna send some loads and we're just doing that same file. So we just wanna overwrite then that RISA 3D file that we already have. Um, again, we could look at the mapping file editor if we wanted to, but in this case, we're ready to go and we're just gonna go ahead and click okay. Now again, this will work in the opposite direction. And so we're just um, opening and launching RISA. And so when RISA is finished, we can go ahead and choose RISA. So here's our, our RISA model. So let's go ahead and rotate around. Let me turn off the nodes here. And if we go ahead and look, let's go ahead and double click on one of these members. We can see now that the change has occurred. We've got this HSS six by six by uh, quarter. Uh, we can also see under the properties that our material has changed. Let's go around maybe to the back side here and look at those members, those other members. So we have again, the material has changed and we also have that HSS five by three by um, six. So we've got all those changes that have been, have been made and we can go ahead and see that. Now we can go back to Tecla really quick and we can see then in Tecla, we can see that the changes that have been made. So we can see the modified grid lines, we can see the columns, beams, the different changes, we can see the materials we've modified. So we can just kind of gives us a brief overview of what's been changed um, so that we can evaluate that and kind of match that up between the Tecla and the RISA models. So now that we're ready, we could go ahead and make our design changes. We could rerun the analysis and we could verify that those changes that we made in the Tecla model as a result of either fabrication or detailing requirements fit the analysis and design model. 
Thanks very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at or visit our website, risa.com.